just before the congregation of Israel arrives at Mount Sinai, also called Mount Horeb, they were complaining about thirst. When the people grumbled against Moses and were ready to stone him, the Bible says the Lord said to Moses, pass on before the people of taking with you some of the elders of Israel and take in your hand the staff with which you struck the Nile and go. Behold, I will stand before you there on a rock at Horeb and you shall strike the rock and water shall come out and the people will drink. This is so much Jesus for you. St. Paul writes, For they drank from the spiritual rock that followed them, and that rock was Christ. See, the Lord Jesus said to Moses, I'm going to go and I'm going to stand there on a rock before, at Horeb, and, and you're going to strike me. You're going to strike me, the rock, and water's going to come out of me, and the people are going to drink. Jesus is struck, and from him water flows. Oh, but I switched to the cross at Mount Zion, where that spear pierces his side, where water and blood come flowing out. Water comes from the side of the rock, from Jesus. Going back a little bit in Jesus' life, when he's speaking with the Samaritan woman at Jacob Well, Jesus says to her, whoever drinks of the water that I will give him, he will become in him like a spring of water welling up to eternal life. A little bit later in John's gospel, Jesus says, If anyone thirsts, let him come to me, and let him who believes in me drink. As the scripture has said, out of his heart will flow rivers of living water. And John even gives us the clue as to what Jesus means. Now this he said about the Spirit, whom those who believed in him were to receive, for as yet the Spirit had not been given, because Jesus was not yet glorified. The cross. This water flowing from the side of Christ is faith that clings to him, and him alone for the forgiveness of sins. So in the waters of holy baptism, you have been gifted faith by the Holy Spirit. Because of your own reason or strength, you cannot believe in Jesus Christ as your Lord or come to him. But the living water flowing from the side of Christ over you in holy baptism, the Holy Spirit there calls you by the gospel, enlightens you with his gifts, and sanctifies and keeps you in Jesus. From the side of Jesus on the cross comes living water, given to you by the Spirit, so that you have faith in Jesus for the forgiveness of your sins, Faith that will carry you to eternal life because of the rock which was pierced for your salvation.